What is up, guys? We are back with another Guilty Gear Strive video, and today we're here to talk about a certain dolphin that has kind of become a meme. People are tired of getting hit by this move. This is the least favorite move to get hit by in the entire game, at least according to the viewers of my Clips channel. That should be you, by the way. You guys should subscribe to my Clips channel. Thank you. So, generally, people are tired of the dolphin. It's a good move. Don't get me wrong. It is a good move, but it does have counterplay. And today, real quick, I'm going to explain to you how to beat people who all they do is spam dolphins. So, it's a little tricky because the main thing here is you have to keep in mind there are two strengths of the dolphin. There is the slash strength, which you can see comes out very, very fast. And there is the heavy slash strength, which you can see is a little bit slower. So, you have to use your eyes... You have to quickly recognize which strength of the move did they do, and that's going to be really important. And the reason for that is the slash version is negative on block, the heavy slash version is plus on block. And so what that means, the fact that this is negative on block, that essentially means that if you block this move, it is now your turn. It's your turn to press buttons. May is not allowed to press buttons there. Whereas if she does this version, the heavy version, it is not your turn. You are not permitted to press buttons after you block the heavy version. So use your eyes and notice that, okay, they did the fast one. It's my turn. I can press buttons. You are going to have to be a little bit careful because as you can see, when you block the dolphin, she's left at a pretty far away angle. So make sure maybe go into training mode and test, you know, what normals are going to reach that far. But I guarantee pretty much every character is going to have something. It might be like sweep or something. You're going to have something that is going to reach. But you can see if I go for a light normal here, I end up out of range and I get hit. So make sure you do something with some pretty decent range. So now I'm sure your next question is, well, if this is plus on block, if it's their turn after I block this, they can just do this forever. Why, why would I... This move is clearly broken, because they can just do it forever and stay plus. But the thing you have to keep in mind is it's slow to come out, so you can interrupt it. That is going to be your primary counterplay to the slow version of this dolphin. And there's a lot of ways to do it. 6P might be the best one. It's going to depend a little bit on your character. Uh, depending on your character, you might be able to, you know, kick her out or punch her out or something like that but generally I find 6p works pretty well because it has that upper body invincibility so that's gonna help against the dolphin and really th this is something good to keep in mind in this game because there are a lot of moves that fit this pattern of slow to come out but plus on block like for example Eno her stroke the big tree heavy version that is slow to come out but it's plus on block so when you see Eno going for this move, it's good to try to interrupt it with like a throw or something. The same thing is true for like Giovanna spiral arrow drill move or like soul Fafnir. There are a lot of moves that are plus but slow and you're going to have to get good at interrupting them if you want to win. I just feel like May Dolphin is maybe the most obvious example. So my tip for you guys, go into training mode, use the recording. If you don't know, if you go down to button settings here, you can set a button on your controller to play and record, and then you can just really quickly record May doing some shenanigans and uh, practice punishing it. And that's all I got for you guys. Hopefully you found this useful. Can I stop getting people telling me how broken the dolphin is? Okay, maybe it's a little broken. We can keep talking. It's a little broken, but there is ways to play around it, so... Hopefully that uh, helps you guys see a little bit of that. And as always, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye-bye.